Dale with Thermo Fisher Scientific here at Iron World Manchester. Today we're going to hear from Dan Tonge of Staffordshire University who's speaking about fungal metagenomics. Dan? Hi, so I've been working on the Iron Torrent platform for quite a while now, doing various things, microRNA sequencing, RNA sequencing. But what I've actually been working on recently is um, the development of methods that allow us to detect fungi at very low concentrations. Um, and furthermore, fungi that we can't classically culture within the laboratory. Yes, so these are environmental fungal samples, is that correct? Yes, they are. So there's some environmental samples, so they might be, people might be interested in them uh, for various reasons. They might be worried about them entering their homes or mm -hmm. associated with composting heaps. Um, we're also looking at green walls, actually, and we're looking at the fungi and bacteria that are associated with the roots of these green walls to see whether any of these uh, might be key in their beneficial effects. Yeah, in your talk you mentioned then you're using three conserved regions of the fungal genome. Yes, so um, there are various approaches that we can take. We could do uh, one region or this multi-region approach, and, and we've taken this approach because it ensures that we've got the best possible chance of detecting every fungi in there. Yes. And so you had, what, ITS1, ITS2, and an LSU sequence recently published, yeah? That's correct, yeah, recently published in PLOS One. Uh, and we, we take this multi-region approach where we've got, like you said, the ITS1, ITS2, LSU, uh, and we ensure that we can detect all fungi because I, ITS1, for example, may not amplify one fungi, but ITS2 will. So it's a belt and braces approach. I see. And then you had a collaborator who provided equal molar concentrations of, what, eight different species? That's great. So that's Dr. Kat Pashley from Leicester University. Mm -hmm. uh, she's a fungal expert, and yet she kindly furnished us with, with our eight mix, which was the initial proof of principle study, and then uh, our rather challenging 20 mix, which were very closely related fungi uh, that we had no idea of their identity prior to the sequencing study. And so you were getting it all the way down to the species level, correct? We were, be, we were able to speciate in a number of cases, and in very m many more we were able to take it to the genus level. Um, but in all cases, we are able to identify the fungi present. I see. And then you, were, you finished your talk by talking about this green wall idea. Can yeah. you elaborate on that a little bit? Yeah, so at Staffordshire University, in collaboration with Professor John Dover, we have a green wall centre. and. Um, these, uh, these plants detoxify VOCs out of the atmosphere, uh, and one theory is that these uh, VOCs are detoxified by micro by, uh, microorganisms by the root zone. We're really interested in what these are, so we're going to be targeting these with the ion torrent and working out exactly what this complex microbial community uh, actually encompasses. Yes, and you mentioned then that you'll be able to not only look at the, the microbiome of the fungi, but also the bacteria simultaneously using like a 16S approach? That's right, yeah. So leveraging the, uh, the 16S that have already been developed by Iron Torrent, combining that with our uh, ITS, ITS2 and LSU, we'll, we'll get the, the broader picture of the microbiome. So bacteria and fungi, yes. Great. Well, thank you for your time, Dan, this no problem, afternoon. Pleasure. If you're interested in following more of our activities around Iron World, be sure to follow us on lifetechnologies.com slash behind the bench. And also, if you're interested in Dan's paper, the link is provided below. If you have any questions for him, feel free to answer in the comments.